Greetings friends, it's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and today in, bete in between taking a walk on a blustery day and playing with the little dog I worked on a another house, a little house more like a store from West Virginia. Give me the ball. <laughs> if you don't give it to me, I can't throw it. So here's my pattern. I I have it available on Etsy for a small fee and you download it first, print it on a heavy cover stock paper and then color it with, well I'm using Tombow pens, but you could use anything, um, colored pencils, crayons, markers, and I decided to put a little brick pattern there at the bottom edge of my general store and color it bright and cheerful, kind of a yellowy orange. This particular little house has got an extra windows that are, well they're not exactly bay windows, but they stick out from the building and then an upper story window that sticks out and I thought it was kind of fun. So first you want to color it then you score it, score all of the fold lines so that they will fold easy. When you use heavy paper, um, it won't fold properly unless you give it a good score line, a dent. Then you cut it all out and you're ready to start folding. I like to color both sides of my little uh, window shades because then you can see above and below that there's a pattern there. You don't have to, but I think it looks better. And now I'm ready to glue. I'm gluing my little chimney first, and then the house glue the side first and then the floor and then you're ready to put on the roof. Each time you want to use, I'm using a regular children's school grade white Elmer's glue and um, you have to hold it for 20 to 30 seconds for it to bond properly. And I put my little uh, extensions, my little uh, window extensions, then put the little roof above and then there's the upper story window and its roof. Ta da! This particular store has got the extra um, detail of having a, a store sign. You can leave it off. Nothing says you have to have it. And there it is, just that fast. I hope you liked this one. I think it's kind of cute. I've put all these little patterns together in book form, divided up the United States into regions. Um, Northeast, Southern States, Western States, Midwest, and then have published them in a book recently. Uh, several books which are available on Lulu and soon to be available globally in places like Barnes & Noble and um, Amazon. Thanks so much for watching. Do subscribe. See you next time.